Hello and good morning, everyone. I have Navya Nair with me. Navya Nair has uh, secured All India Rank 38 in the ALIT exam, which was very, very unexpected and to an extent difficult exam also, which we will discuss about in, in some time. Uh, Navya is from uh, Jaipur. Right now, she is in Jaipur. Um, her parents have a transferable job. Uh, she joined the Career Launcher online program, classroom program. Uh, she is also the student of CR Nuggets uh, program of Career Launcher. Navya is right now in class 12th and uh, she has taken humanities as uh, her stream, chosen humanities her as, as her stream in class 11. So let us talk to Navya and try to understand. The first and foremost thing is uh, Navya, humanities. So was it, was it yes, very sir. clear uh, in front of you that you want to pursue career in law? So I knew I did not like science and I knew I did not like maths that much. Although I, I actually got the highest marks in science and maths in 10th standard, I knew that I would not be able to manage those subjects in 12th because even if I would get good marks, I would not like them. So I knew I had to do humanities. And after that, I also wanted to do law. So it was between human, uh, law or psychology for me. And I, I have psychology as a subject, but I realized that I didn't like it as much. So then I knew it was law for me. So uh, first thing to learn from Navya is we tell the students to eliminate the options in the reading mm -hmm. comprehension passages to arrive at the right answer. Perhaps Navya has arrived at her <laughs> right career choice by eliminating the other Elimination. options. Right, Navya? It's best okay. to know so, what uh, you don't want. Yeah, yeah. That, it, it, actually, it helps if you know that this is something that I don't want. It really helps. Um, right. So, but when did when did your when did your law preparation start out, or when did that thought come and came in front of you that out out of psychology and law, let me choose law. So uh, it was in the beginning of eleventh standard only. Maybe after the summer vacations, I had I had a good idea that uh, I want to do law. Like I had talked to a lot of students also, my seniors who were preparing for CLAT. And some who had gone to Symbiosis Law School also. So pro listening to them, talking to them, how they are enjoying it. And I was quite similar to them. I thought I would also enjoy it like that. So I think you should talk to your seniors also and figure out what their options are to see if you would like what they are thinking of. So we talked a little bit about your past. Let us talk about, talk about today and then we will discuss about the things that happened in between. So, when when did you come to know about your result, uh, and 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 uh, what was the mahol like in your uh, home? I got to know yesterday itself as soon as I logged into my ALIT account and I saw that my result is at thirty eight. I was I was very happy, and then I showed my parents, and they called my grandparents, and my within five minutes, I think the news was had just spread like fire throughout my family, all my friends also. I'm still getting messages from my family and friends. So we are definitely celebrating. Mm -hmm. So uh, were, you, were you expecting this rank or, or what was your expectation? The paper was very, very weird this year. Definitely. It's a weird paper, but uh, I was, ex I thought the cutoff would still go to 75, 80. But I think the cutoff has gotten gone much lower than that. So I was expecting maybe I'll get in, in the second list if someone decides not to go. But with that 38, my rank is, my seat is secured. So that was unexpected. Yeah, actually, frankly speaking, everyone believed that cutoff could be around 77, 78 kind of yes. marks. I remember that you messaged me day before yesterday or yesterday about yes, sir, yesterday. 76. What are the chances? I said good yes, chance. Sir. but. <laughs> Yeah, even I, I thought that maybe if not in the first list, second list, you will get... Uh, that is get, what get, I was also win. assuming. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, right. So, so uh, let, let us talk about your preparation. Uh, how, how did you prepare yourself for the ALIT exam? And, and the CLAT and ALIT, as such, they test the, 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 the similar skills, both test reading skills. But the pattern of the paper is different. And nobody expected what will happen on what what happened on that particular exam date. So we will come to the exam day later. So first, tell me how did you prepare yourself for the two exams, considering you also have your boards this year? 
Sir, I think it's common for almost every student who's giving CLAT and ALIT that they are focusing mostly towards CLAT. It would make sense if there are 23 law schools in one exam and one law school in another, then of course they would think CLAT, they'll focus on more, which is correct also to do. But uh, what I did, maybe it won't work for everyone, but from 1st December, I did only ALIT mocks. Every day I did an ALIT mock from CL. And uh, what I saw that, of course, the marks, even though they fluctuated, I practice every single day that one hour, 30 minutes, not no two hour papers, just to get used to writing that paper. So even my seniors had told me that that's what they did. So I decided to do the same, that practice for 10 days, just giving ALIT papers. And uh, from 1st December to 10 December, I only practiced ALIT. And before that, I was mostly doing CLAT. So, so basically, you are saying taking mocks here. Now, this yes, is a very yes. interesting thing that, that you are telling me because a lot of the students after the ALIT exam and also the CLAT exam, whom I have met, they believe that since the paper was such a different from what they expected and what they were used to in writing the mocks, mocks were of no use. But here you are telling me that, that you took a mock almost every but day. Definitely yeah. of They were definitely of use. Actually, one very surprising thing, the... I, the last mock I had given was CL ALIT mock 8. And that mock had totally shocked me. That mock was, I think uh, we were experimenting, CL had been experimenting with the mock and the pattern was different. And quite a similar pattern, I would say, came in the final ALIT. So okay. that really helped me. Like I was shocked already <laughs> two days before ALIT. So then I think... Little bit of experimenting. We all know Elit will always experiment. Yeah. So, giving so the mocks I knew. You know, I also believe, I have seen a lot of students and, and seen uh, these, uh, these students who are successful. Mocks of any nature help. Solving questions of any nature. I mean, of course, it should be relevant to the exam you are writing. But the format doesn't matter that much. The practice and, and the time constraint under which you are taking a mock. That matters. So, so, so yes. here is another such uh, story that that Navya is uh, sharing. So, uh, Navya, tell me one thing: uh, the, the this CLAT and ELET exam, and uh, they are mostly about reading. So, how did you prepare yourself for uh, for for the this these exams? So, I think you're talking about the reading side. Definitely, I always loved reading. So I think um, I have not all I've not had a problem with increasing my reading speed. Like from the first time I gave a mock, I was able to complete it. Or I was able to see all the questions, if not attempt them. So I did not have a problem with reading, but all my friends who weren't able to complete the paper in the first go, what they did is reading the newspaper editorials and reading them as fast as possible. And at the same time, trying to analyze it. If you read it as fast as possible, don't understand anything, then of course that is of no use. So that's how they try to increase their reading speed by just newspaper editorials, because those are, I think, similar to the passages that might have might come in the paper. So you you, you said that you like reading anyway. Yes, sir. So, uh, so, so since uh, since when have you been reading? For how long you have been reading? So. From fifth standard, at least, I was always, I always had a book in my hand. It could be a textbook also. Uh, okay. <laughs> anything about me, I I have not taken maths in 11th and 12th, but because I like reading so much, I was bored one day, so I've read 11th, 12th maths textbook for fun. Oh, I don't like maths. My God. Oh my God, that is that is something, you know, uh, later on in your life, uh, remember this as an example very interesting example that that you can quote in your interviews also very <laughs> yes. i mean the formal job interviews also it's a very impressive <laughs> thing that you are talking about uh, yes. right so yeah uh, so so uh, it, let let us talk about general knowledge so that is a pain point and considering what particularly in the clat although this this uh, this video or in it, or interview is about it but but the we, we know that how gk is such a vast thing and anything and everything can come under it so, um, how did you prepare for your GK? Sir, uh, what I did might not be advisable for everyone, but I tried to get as many sources as possible because I started two years okay. ago. So, I knew okay. that I, maybe two years GK will not, will not be as relevant as the one year GK. 
so i tried to get my hands on as much gk as i could so of course what was most helpful for sure would have been the manthans and the regular classes that kandap sir held definitely that would have been my primary source what i had noticed actually in the elet paper gk science so uh... Yeah, I'm here. You can continue. Yes, sir. So what I had noticed in the GK side that almost, almost four or five of the questions which came in GK, Kanta sir had taken up in a class just the day before. Okay. So I think trust your teacher. Great. They so know what they are doing. Really. They are, they know what can come. They have been in this business much longer than you. You are even if you are preparing for two years, that is just two years. They have seen so many papers. So I think you trust them. You first do what they are telling you to do. Do the GK they are telling you to do, and then if you want any other source, that should be only up to you. But definitely, so that's a very very same. valid point, Navya. Because you know every time I go to the class or I meet students, uh, I I say them that if you want to keep things in, uh, simple. Trust one person. That one person can be anyone. Then not necessary your teacher. That can be your friend. That can be your senior. That can be your parents. I mean, when we are talking about exams, so what one person is saying, if you follow them, it becomes things becomes much easier rather than following various variety of telegram channels and taking advice from lot of yeah. people. Uh, yeah. So let us talk about the exam day when you saw the paper. What was your first reaction? so when i was uh, scrolling through the i just just uh, was looking through the paper um, it did not click at that time <laughs> when i was just you know just looking through the paper i didn't click at that time that uh, oh the paper pattern has changed because i don't think it matters if the paper pattern has changed this has changed for everyone there's nothing you can do about it at that time and in those brief 1 hour 30 minutes that you have if you get any sort if you get into a panic then you are just Waste. You're taking away the one hour thirty minutes that you have, which is already almost too little for everyone. So, I don't. I don't think I noticed. But when I left the building, I think that's when it actually clicked. That oh, poor. Uh, the entire paper pattern has changed. Ah, <laughs> for that, so, I did not have much idea. I was just attempting what I could. I did GK first because I realized it was in the end. So I thought, let me secure some marks first, and then I'll come to the English legal logical section. so i was i did gk then i was attempting as much as i could and i was able to finish the paper and as soon as i left the exam hall that's when i realized the paper pattern has completely changed completely changed you know what you are talking about and to viewers also what navya is talking about this is called as getting into the zone and performing in a zone i mean when you are in a zone for example the virat kohli when he bats like in a his sublime form he is in a zone so perhaps navya was in her zone when when she was taking that exam nothing perturbed her and that's why she was able to maintain the uh, you know composure and and do well in the exam so wonderful thing now navya now oh, navya last thing uh, you joined the cr nuggets program how was the program was it of help to you or you know Uh, but what use you made out of the program sir definitely of help to me like even in uh, even in clat and uh, even in clat so in my cr scores in the logical reasoning section i have de definitely gotten abysmal scores also i have i don't think uh, anyone is getting my scores i had gotten 6 and 7 marks also in the cr section oh so uh, my cr was definitely my worst Uh, but after taking the cr nuggets program my marks definitely increased and in clat with the provisional answer key currently i have 26.25 marks in logical reasoning which from to 26 that is a very big jump very big jump great great so now we have any message for any of the uh, faculty at tech career launcher who who have taught you or you want to say anything any feedback i mean it's it, it doesn't have to be necessarily a good feedback when i'm saying feedback please open your heart and say anything that you want to say so for my teachers i really had a good time in the classes we i cho chose online classes because of i was shifting also and then uh, i 
after covid i realized i can learn better through online mode but my teachers were just excellent and uh, um, pooja ma'am always tells us ki kandarp sir his voice will uh, his voice gunjaws in your head you can hear him mm. attempting gk and she's <laughs> she's correct when i was attempting i uh, i could hear the answers that he was saying and then i was marking it so i would just say thank you to them they have really they have taught me so well and uh, if i if they had not taught me then i would not have been able to get even half the marks i have gotten for sure they were the ones who helped me reach uh, reach to the level that i am which i am very thankful for that and especially gk section i would not have been able to do without kandarp sir for sure so definitely uh, good to know that uh, th- so 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 that is all from my side navya thank you so much and, and i tell you uh, my hunch is that your clat rank will will uh, be better than your elite rank let's see <laughs> if that happens uh, so so let us wait it is early to also conclude that but that is that is what i believe can happen so congratulations on your uh, wonderful performance in elite and um, all the best for your boards i am 100% sure that you are going to do very well in the boards also considering the your attitude and and the way you you have finished your maths uh, uh, class 11th maths book also <laughs> so that, that is really you know, so you i i know that you will do well in the boards also all the best for your future and uh, thank you so much for taking us time for us thank you sir thank you sir